me tell y'all something. I don't know nothing about no big three. No J. Cole, no Kendrick Lamar, no Drake. But these right here, this my big three. My body felt so tingly when I put this on my... Hi Kingdom, welcome back to another vlog. If you're new here, my name is Deshaun King. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on my post notifications so you don't miss out on any videos the second that they drop. I'm about to head out shortly to go to Sephora to pick up some stuff for the VIB sale, and then we're gonna be going to Target right after to pick up some other things that I need, and we're gonna be discussing just some essential items that you need in your hygiene routine. Of course, I gotta put y'all on the drip before I head out. I'm neutral down, I got on this Van Cl Van Cleef, I wish it was Van Cleef. Uh, Von Dutch sweater, I've had this for so long actually I think I picked this up from TJ Maxx of all places actually and then for pants I have on these dual monochrome brown pants I'm pretty much neutral from head to toe these are the Fenty Puma creepers that came out a while ago I never wear these but I decided to break these out today because it just goes with the fit um, of course, any active links for the outfit I will link below in the description as well as on my LTK if you follow me on Instagram. And yeah, let's go ahead and head out. All right, y'all, we out. This mall closes at 7 o'clock during the week. 7. I thought it closed at 8. Oh my god, but anyways, I got the stuff. We're gonna make our way over to Target. There's like one thing that I need, and then we can go home. Okay, y'all, so we made it into Target. There's really only one thing that I came here for, and it was like a body care product. I just gotta find the right aisle. Wait, hold up for a second. So these are the two new body washes that Naturium came out with the Energizer Mandelic Acid and the Hyaluronic Acid. These just came out and I've been meaning to try these. So I actually just picked up one of these and we're definitely gonna try that probably tonight when I get home. I've been hearing a lot about this being posted on the Naturium website, but I've yet to see like another influencer actually use this. So I was gonna give this product a try. This is the Glow Getter Multi-Oil Body Butter. This is essentially the body butter version of this body wash here. And I actually like this. If you guys have been watching me, then you know that this and this, these are like my combos for like my everyday shower routine. So I'm hoping that this is pretty similar to the body wash and it gives you like an all day moisturizing effect. So I'm gonna get like a bottle of this and that was pretty much all that I needed to come in here for. So let's go ahead and look around. But you know you can't just get one thing when you come to Target. You have to have to look around. All right, y'all, so it's the next day. I actually wanted to film this when it was more daylight. By the time that I left Target, it was really dark. I wanted to show you guys everything that I got. So first, we're gonna start with Sephora because that's where the bag really was spent. It was spent at the VIB sale. Shout out to my best friend, Arnell, for letting me use her Rouge discount because come to find out, something told me to just check my, my VIB status on the Sephora website and they don't bump me down to an insider. The insiders don't even get to shop until like later in the week. I'm so glad I checked because I would have been standing there looking stupid. But as it turns out, I do have a lot of friends that swiped up on my story because I posted it on Instagram. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I talked about it on my story. And a lot of you were telling me that, oh, I lost my VIP status too, or I lost my Rouge status too. I think Sephora changed their spending limits that you have to spend in order to keep your certain tier. But I heard that they lowered it. Like you used to be $1,200 to be a Rouge member, but now it's a thousand. And I didn't quite look up like what the requirements were to be VIB and so on. There was one thing that I got that is new that I have not tried before and I was using it last night and so far I really like it. That's gonna be the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta 2% BHA Breakout Solution. A lot of people are familiar with the Dr. Dennis Gross pads, like the chemical exfoliating pads that a lot of people use. I personally used them before, I love them. 
but this is a 2% BHA breakout solution. It has salicylic acid, which is really great for reducing the sebum levels in your skin and fighting acne and also just pretty much retexturizing your skin because it is a chemical exfoliant. For the most part, I prefer to use chemical exfoliating products. I don't lean more towards the physical exfoliants like how I used to, but I gravitate more towards the liquid ones just because I feel like they penetrate into my skin better. So far, I really like this. Now, with chemical exfoliants, you do have to hydrate your skin afterwards. I have oily combination skin, if you guys don't know. It can have just a slightly drying effect. However, you do have to keep in mind there are other chemical exfoliants. There is azelaic acid, lactic acid, both of those help with retexturizing your skin and eliminating dead skin off of your face. But yeah, I'm highly looking forward to continuing to use this. So I will link everything down below in the description, of course, with everything that you guys see. Okay, so the next product that I got was the Necessaire Gel Deodorant. Now, this was the last one that I saw on the shelf, so I figured why not just pick it up just in case I run out of the one that I already have. So I'm not scrambling trying to find another one, waiting on ordering it and just other things that are just out of convenience for me. So um, I highly recommend this if you're somebody that is looking to use natural deodorant. This doesn't have any harsh aluminums or any harsh chemicals that are bad for you. It has 5% AHA, which is an alpha hydroxy acid cocktail solution. It helps with resurfacing like rough texture on your underarms. It also helps with lightening your underarms too if your skin is either discolored or if you just have uneven skin tone in that area. So this is something I've been using for, I would probably say the past two years. Ever since this product came out, I have not looked back. I used to kind of use Native and I don't like using native deodorant anymore. Like it's just, it's just not my thing. I live in hot, humid Florida. This lasts me all day. It doesn't have a very strong eucalyptus scent. Of course, you'll smell it on the initial application when you first apply it, but it's not something that's gonna linger all day. Like you won't really smell it. They also do have a non-scented version if you're someone that doesn't really care for a scent. I personally have not used the non-scented version though. I don't really see the point of a non-scented deodorant when I feel like, you know, it's meant to deodorize. So it has to have some sort of scent. All right, so this next one is a little bit of a cliche purchase. And I say that with no shade. It is the Topicals Brightening Under Eye Mask. Of course, I've seen pretty much everybody post about these on TikTok, Instagram, everywhere. Everywhere on social media. Most of the time I'll see people post these when they're like on flights or if they're traveling. So this is pretty much gonna be my go-to for whenever I do have some trips that I do have kind of planned coming up in the summer. I do find that under eye patches are helpful to depuff your eyes in the morning, but I'm really looking forward to using these when the time comes. So this next purchase is something I've been really proud of myself for getting and it's one of my favorite fragrances of all time. It is the By the Fireplace Mesa Margiela. I like By the Fireplace, I also like Coffee Break and Jazz Club. Those are the three that I really like because they're more warm undertones, but I ended up getting a one ounce bottle because I'm not somebody that really uses cologne or fragrances that much. However, I can see myself going through an entire bottle of this. I, it's just something I can't get enough of. I love using it at night. I actually like to layer this with my Seven Virtues Santal Vanille. These work wonders together. I'm telling y'all, they smell so good together. I'm someone that prefers like very warm, wood-like scents, so these two together work really well. The vanilla, it is like a true vanilla scent, so it is a little bit on the sweet side, so it kind of balances this out. If you've never smelled it before, it does smell kind of like a marshmallow, fireside type of scent. If you're somebody that buys the candle from Bath & Body Works, Marshmallow Fireside smells pretty similar to this. So I didn't actually buy this when I was at Sephora, but it is another product that I rave about. It is the Hydrate and Glow Dream Body Butter from Youth to the People. Y'all, this is probably like the best body butter of all time that I've used in my entire life. It hydrates my skin. The next day, even when I'm in the shower, you can feel the water just like kind of bouncing off my skin because you can feel the product coming off. That's how rich this product is. Like this really hydrates your skin. As you can see, I probably got like one more use out of this and then I'm all out. And this is pretty much my second bottle. Now I've been gracious enough to get this in PR twice. So hopefully you to the people, if you're watching this, Please send me another one. <laughs> it doesn't really have a strong scent, but that's not something that I look for in a body butter. I just look for something that 
that hydrates my skin. Um, it does have niacinamide in it as well, 3% niacinamide, which helps with brightening your skin. So I really feel like these products, everything that I've showed you guys so far, it really works well for people that have like some melanin to their skin. Most of the time I gravitate towards products that have some sort of brightening agent to it to kind of keep that even skin tone throughout my body. The last product that I got from Sephora is the rubber mask from Dr. Jart. So it comes with a packet of hyaluronic acid. It's like a hyaluronic acid cocktail moisturizing serum that you apply onto your face before you put the rubber mask on. And I don't use the entire packet. There is a lot of product and I use like half of that packet and I'll use the other half for like a later time. And then I put the rubber mask on. So it's something that I highly, highly would recommend, especially if you're somebody that struggles with really dry skin. All right, so now we're gonna move on to Target. Now, some of the stuff I already took out of the bag because I used it last night. Um, I did get some washcloths, so I alternate between using an African net sponge that I got off of Amazon and I like using washcloths. Washcloths are a bit more softer and more forgiving. The African net sponge can sometimes be just a little bit too rough on my skin if I'm using it too much during the week. I prefer the thinner washcloths because I get more grit on it and I have more control. <laughs> I opened this packet already and I washed one of them and I used it last night in the shower and I do like these so far. So I need to wash the rest of these. All right, so the next product, I'm really excited to talk about this, the Naturium Glow Getter Multi Body Butter. So this is pretty much the body butter version of the body wash here. One of my favorite body washes of all time. I'll use the other Naturium body washes like the glycolic acid one and then I'll use this afterwards as kind of like a body serum. This is a great follow-up afterwards. Makes my skin feel extremely hydrated. Honestly, I was gonna do a TikTok comparing these two because they're very similar. The only thing is I feel like this has more oil-based ingredients in it than this does. So to talk about the ingredients in this product, it has shea butter, glycerin, and squalane. Squalane is an ingredient that is an antioxidant that helps with the moisture barrier in your skin. I definitely feel like the squalane helps with hydrating your skin and it does have a mixture of botanical oils in this as well and a little does go a long way. I'll open it and show you guys just the consistency of it. So this is pretty much like the consistency of the product. You can see like my finger swipes. You do not need to use much because I used this on my entire body last night. Maybe like five to ten finger swipes and and that's being greedy, to be honest. I was being very greedy because I just couldn't get enough of the moisture and the shine that I was getting. And then last but not least, you guys are going to lose your minds. I'm not joking. I want everybody to stop what you're doing and go buy this product. This is the new Mandelic Acid Body Wash from Naturium. This was a game changer for me. I've never felt so clean in my entire life without feeling like the Sahara Desert. But this right here, it got me that clean. It also made my body feel a little bit tingly. It has a small minty-like smell to it, but I think that's the menthol lactate ingredient that's in this body wash. You guys, like my body felt so tingly. When I put this on my... <gasps> My stuff felt clean, I ain't gonna hold you. If you're looking for a really good body wash, get this and then follow it up with this. Like these two right here, game changer. Let me tell y'all something. I don't know nothing about no big three. No J. Cole, no Kendrick Lamar, no Drake. But these right here, this is my big three. Okay, the glycolic acid body wash. It helps with retexturizing your skin. It helps with evening your skin tone as well. Any roughness that you have. I'm telling you, I'm almost out of this. I've probably gone through so many bottles of this. This is gonna be my new go-to. Don't get me wrong, I love this one, but this one is coming in hot. It even tells you on the bottle, it has a cooling formula that deeply cleanses and neutralizes body odor. If you're somebody that struggles with body odor, you know, struggles with either sweating, probably wanna give a product that helps with neutralizing odor. That's primarily what mandelic acid is for. It helps to to neutralize your body odor. Highly, highly would recommend this. But yeah, y'all, that's pretty much it for this little mini shopping vlog for the hygiene routine. If you guys wanna see more videos like this, just let me know. I do like every now and then doing like little smaller mini vlogs. So if you guys prefer that over the longer vlogs, let me know in the comments. I don't mind doing either one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on my post notifications so you don't miss out on any videos the second that they drop. Also, let me know what y'all think of the new intro for YouTube and my banner and everything. I rebranded everything, all my platforms. 
I've done so much work in trying to really go hard this year. But again, if you guys want to binge watch any more of my videos, you know what to do. Go ahead and click that playlist above in the upper right corner that says more from Deshaun. And I will see y'all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you later.